Evening fellas. So this video, right? I, I had no idea whether it's gonna be a real video or like a test video. I think it's gonna be a test. I would like to get the hands. <laughs> hey, listen, with carts, you don't get a safe neck, you just die, mate. Ah, oh, smooth, yeah. <laughs> Zip. Like a glove. You look good there, lad. <laughs> Hello, I'm with my good friend, Rob Cox, who's been a mate of mine for many a year. Many a bloody year. We've been mates for... It's, it's over 10 years. I'm, I'm getting old now. Anywho, we're at Team Sport Karting in Dunstable. We have a beautiful history with this track. But we came here for a bit of fun. I haven't been karting in ages and we're breaking in the new GoPro Hero 7 Black with the mic adapter and with the mic in my cheek which I bloody hope doesn't fall out. Mic adapter from GoPro is 50 quid just to plug a mic into the bloody thing. So it better sound good for one. It better sound alright. Hee <laughs> Oh no. Oh no. Alright. So. Let us see what this is like after a few years. So, what I'm going to do is just see if I can get back into the swing of this. Because I haven't been here in a little while. So, we're just going to get her warm, get her toasty, try not to bash number 11 which is Rob's number, my mate. I remember this hairpin being mighty slippy. So, the thing is with four strokes, you gotta keep that momentum going, and this man, this matey here, is demonstrating. Sometimes that's quite hard to do. Super interested to know There was a wall there. I've got to stop like subconsciously checking that my GoPro hasn't come off as well. <laughs> I've noticed when you touch the brake at all, it's like a power cut, so. But, uh... <laughs> Nice move, boys. <laughs> All right, we've got some free track, lads. So, I've got Rob behind me to see if he can keep up, which he will, because he's rapid, mate. I've already got something in my eye. That was just a big skid, mate. All right, I'm a head out. He's around me, bum. <laughs> All right, go for it, mate. Let's have a chase. I'm always better chasing, I swear. So this man, Yes, the junior driver, back in the day, Volkswagen Cup driver. Man's got history. He's very quick sim racer. He's a fucking idiot. <laughs> He's a mate, I've got to take the piss out of him a little bit. Do you reckon we're getting that toe up here? <laughs> we're getting that done for us, bro. It's so much easier to follow in karting, it's ridiculous. Mate, why is, why is driving at the front so hard? I need to drive like I'm driving behind him. Ha <laughs> ha! 
with the roof. So, as you'll find with racing, sometimes chasing is so much easier than holding the pace by yourself and you might have to find you have a preference but you can just adjust so much more for their mistakes and it gives you so much more of a reference I think I'm trying the brake too much they've got uh, like a cutout so if you tap the brake at all it pulls the throttle so I need to be more selective with which pedal I go for you can't blend them nearly as much which is clever it stops people burning them out you see how much just touching the wall like that really makes a difference and getting that wheel straight again ASAP again huge difference tight around there seems to help a lot And you get so much more of a run. <laughs> I'm ahead up. We're getting that bump drop, boys. <laughs> Bruh. How many bras can we get in one race? And then we can have a bit more speed through here. We're going to stay on the grip. <laughs> The thing is with touching the driver in front of you, don't do it because it's naughty. It does unsettle you though, that big time. Oh, you see I'm that up. See how much speed difference that was there. nice to the public all right they don't know who you are unless you're youtube famous and even if they do they might unsubscribe if you smack them off breath oh, oh, oh. round trousers i tell you that's just a micro lift that's flat if you let it run all the way out this seems to work better if you just stay on the rubber and just use all the track all of it don't be a pussy I haven't quite got that hairpin yet. And then this, you don't want to strain the cart too much. Oh yeah. Oh. Nanometers of perfection, boys. I'm chatting bear shit now. Chatting absolute waffle. These carts are such a workout. I say that because I'm already sweating got that heavy steering you know this has really got acceleration g-forces because you don't you just have so much more shaking around so much more bouncing bruh karting's just so much more of a bruh moment <laughs> Yeah. Oh wow, it's all climbing up in there. We got the we've got the mums in. We got the big sexy mummers in now. I just smacked my ting, bro. So, Rob's already died. Sad times. <laughs> Mad ill as hell. I'm surprised he hasn't already vomited everywhere, so. Mildly impressive, nonetheless. 
but we need a 39 for this session. Um, so we need to do him proud, boys. Always check for your cats as well, because you never know. I am like full Kino today, I got the boots, big ups to custom Painos gloves, made by your man Rob himself, who's ill at the moment. <laughs> I don't think they're doing any custom torque gloves anymore at the moment, but you can get some brand spanking new designs. If this is a full video, I will link them in the description as well. Uh, please go check them out. Um, we're hopefully going to be getting some custom suits fairly soon as well, which should be huge sexy. It's one of the things with indoor karting. I think people have a lot of misconceptions about it, that it's not going to be as good as outdoor, and don't get as close to a real, like, proper racing experience as you would do normally, I'd say, because normally the tracks are so much tighter. But they are still a lot of fun, and if you just want seat time, you just want practice, you just want to have a laugh with your mates, it is still excellent. Obviously, they do races, but it's more of like a lap time focus thing. Uh, and if you like, you know, you're qualifying your time attack, and you want to stick yourself on a leaderboard, Especially if you're going out for a, with a few beers and, you know, drinks with your mates afterwards. It does make, like, a really good evening. It's one of my favourites, anyway. Like, I've done sports in the past, but karting's always the one thing I've stuck with. Um, and the one thing I have probably, and motorsport in general, the most passion for. Obviously, motorsport is so much more expensive, so cars. As much as I'd love to be banging around in, you know, proper track cars and proper race cars, and I, I will eventually when I can, you know, <laughs> get the backing for it. It's just so much more expensive, as in so, so much more expensive. And even if you're looking at things like Club 100, which is, you know, 200 pound a race weekend, it's still expensive. But nowhere near as much as you could be spending in full car racing. And so, A bit cheeky. Always make sure your carts are nice and toasty before you start smashing in laps. I'd love, love, love to see what the quality is like down here so far. Also, all these rental carts are always, 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 always slightly different because they've been bashed in different ways, they've been repaired in different ways. Um, it's pretty much just a smorgasbord of types. Now, I'm positioned slightly further forwards in the car right now. So I'm hoping I've got a little bit more traction over the front wheels. So we might have to control some oversteer a bit, but this is good. 39 is what we're aiming for. We're gonna try and get all of the circuit utilized. And we're going to try and get as much momentum as physically possible, boys. That's the four stroke game away. I think I can get a little bit more time off that one. Just by keeping my balls out. <laughs> yeah, you see, that felt a lot nicer. There's definitely, I was trying to rob earlier, some weird lines around here just because of how the rubber gets laid down and where the dust is on the track. It sounds really weird, but it's quite a lot of dust. A little bit of dust. Quite concentrated. I need to stay off that brake pedal, it's cutting the throttle. Tell me to not brake, because I'm a big boozy. Boozy. Right. That was quite nice. All the track, all the track, a little bit of a flick. That was nice. You can sort of tell how well you're doing by how high the revs sound <laughs> when you're coming out of the corners, right? Because if you're in there enough, oh, stay off the brake. If you're going round enough, you can hear the difference. If you're getting it wrong, it'll sound slower, you know? So, although you don't have a fancy timing system, 
the timing system. Oh, this is shit. Whee! <laughs> we sent it. The timing system is your ears. Your ears. Nice. That was nice. Remember, the more speed you carry, the sooner you're gonna have to brake, or the more speed you're gonna have to scrub. That was nice. All right. You see, you'll notice Rob upstairs, he's got in full racing coach mode, and he's doing the hand movement. <laughs> Watch him as we come past him. Right, all the way up. <laughs> He was doing them. Might have a bit of traffic. We're gonna have some traffic here, boys. We're gonna send it. <laughs> I got a clap there for something. I can't see what I did, but did something. <laughs> yeah. Celebratory drift. <laughs> Just gonna insert ourselves here. <laughs> okay, so technically I might get <laughs> a bit of stick for that, but all we did was hold our line there. So we knew she might come over and going around the outside is a bit of a, yeah, a silly willy thing to do. You don't always do that, boys. But what we did was held our position there. Um, and as we're not in really expensive race cars, it's not too much of a problem. Woo! Are we defending? <laughs> Are we defending? Sorry, fam. Always uh, wave an apology fist. If you feel like you've uh, wronged someone, you know? Give them a bit of a, not an apology fist, what am I on about? An apology wave, just give them a bit of a... <laughs> I'm hoping that's the end of the session. One, because I'm knackered. Two, me hands hurt. And three, I want to go for a wee. Yeah, end of the session, boys. Nice. We did get a nice wave at the start there. Ooh. So, at halfway through, so I'm hoping that means we did a goodish time. <laughs> Easy? Okay, we did something. I might have done something. Little tap. Little tap. <laughs> well done, mate. Well done, guys. Right. What did I do? Oh, yes! Your first, your first five laps of purple. You went quicker, didn't you? So, Matthew Pitts, oh, it's not good. <laughs> you beat a racing driver. <laughs> I had to sacrifice you to make him feel good. <laughs> Mackie's time. <laughs>